Hi there, this is Percy Conley with Remax House of Real Estate. You found me here at calcity.ca. We are out here in front of the infamous Dean House. This is uh, was the primary residence for Mr. and Mrs. Umperville. Uh, there's only been two uh, documented deaths in this property. Although, uh, we've, they say that you see flickering lights in the windows and a lot of the apparitions that have been seen haven't been the two of the residents that actually passed away here but a lot of other people uh, say they see other things here. Uh, dishes moving, uh, glasses crashing, and all that stuff. So, um, I don't know the exact age of this house, but it is old, but you know what else is old? Over here to my left, this is the Hunt House. That house is 148 years old, and uh, it's actually the oldest house in Calgary, and it's uh, a little log cabin. Now we're outside the Suter House. Uh, this is only a couple blocks away from the Dean House, this was owned by a railroad worker, uh, which he died tragically. His wife died soon after. Uh, in this house, there's actually a lady in a white dress who was seen out on the balcony uh, many times, as well as lights flickering upstairs. So she's here waiting for him to come home. We are now at the site of the St. George's Street Bridge, or the Zoo Bridge. Little Donnie Goss in 1946 was playing at the park just over to my left and he was brutally murdered underneath the old steel girders of the old bridge. Uh, he could still be heard crying or playing in the park even up to today. So this is actually kind of a neat little intersection. We have the cross house here which is now the Rouge. Over here we have the St. George's Street Bridge where poor little Donnie died and the church steeple that had the bells removed in 1970 is a block away as well. Now we're outside the All Nations Gospel Church, still down here in Englewood. A young lady in about uh, World War I time frame um, got pregnant by her boyfriend that got shipped off to war. The church then disowned her and uh, feeling so distraught, she climbed up the steeple and jumped to her death. Now we're outside the Hose and Hound Pub, third restaurant on our little tour here. It was owned by James Caffey Smart, a uh, bit of a animal aficionado he had a horse that died in a fire here and he also had a pet monkey that passed away here so the apparitions that are seen here you can hear horses hooves clomping in the in the restaurant or in the main thing and uh, the rascally monkey uh, moving dishes around and uh, being seen upstairs so uh, this is another one of Calgary's most haunted Cool. Uh, thank you. 